Yeah, we're gonna Welcome everybody. Welcome to another episode of Pressure Chris. Welcome. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Lisa and today we're doing the same recipe we did a few weeks back, but I think I actually, it's a new and improved recipe and it's also a half portion because cooking up a pound of pasta for me, unless I have all my traveler friends eating, it's, it's a complete waste. So we're going to do a half portion half a pound of pasta, and we're going to be making that chicken pesto pasta creamy alfredo thingy. Yeah. Wrote down the recipe. Look at this chicken scratch. Yeah. <laughs> so I can read it. Probably not everybody else can read it, but we're going to do a half portion. So let's jump right in because I'm hungry for breakfast and lunch because I think it's 11 o'clock and I'm talking so fast because I'm starving. All right, so I need some caffeine. So we're having a, well, we won't advertise. Not really good for you, but whatever. So this is, um, I don't have my so-called mise en place on today. I'm gonna show you how quick this can actually be thrown together. So I'm just going over, where's my penny pasta? First of all, you gotta find stuff in here. Yeah, that's about a half pound, I think. Yeah. I'm just grabbing stuff. Boom. So we got pasta, we got tomatoes. Here's the pesto. Pesto. And what else do I need? We're gonna grab this. And where's the jar of Alfredo sauce? Here it is. Because I did this yesterday, actually, guys. So I'm just oh wait, I don't need the pesto till later. So we're gonna bring this out. Alright. So we are going to, oh, forgot something. There we go. All right, so first up, what we're gonna do is, we're going to do our chicken stock. And we're gonna do one and one half cups of water. I'm gonna get like warm to hot water because I want this to, to break down a bit, so to speak. There we go. One and one half cups warm water. This is, kind of, this is kind of like real time. I'm using the Better Than Bouillon stock. So about a teaspoon and a half of chicken stock. The Better Than Bouillon. And I'm just gonna whisk this in as best we can. And don't worry if there's lumps, like I said before. It won't, it really won't affect it. There you go. Put that off to the side and Let's see, like a quarter cup of milk. I'm using half and half today because I don't have any milk. <laughs> and last but not least, you're going to be using the roasted garlic Alfredo. I never bought this before and I'm shocked at how good this is. Pour that right in and I probably should have put the half and half or milk in here. That's okay. I'm putting like a two tablespoon, one to two tablespoons of half and half or milk into the jar, give it a shake. You want all that goodness out of that jar. Take the whisk and whisk this whole thing together. Now, like in my last video, we're using the penny pasta. That's a half a pound of pasta. And what people said, you wanna make sure all this pasta is submerged. And that looks amazing right there. Next up, these are for the end. This, this cooks very, very quickly. All right, so that's set. So now we're gonna take the top portion, which is right here. You're gonna grab a piece of aluminum foil. Place that right there. And this is how quick this, once you start making this a few times, it's amazing how easy and fast this is. Now, I'm a big believer of using what you have in the house. So I have some orange tomatoes, which I love these for snacking. And I did pop out to the grocery store this morning to pick up a few reds. So we're just gonna mix these up a bit. There we go. 
I'm going to push these off to the side because I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Because I made this yesterday and my chicken will, yeah. I'm using chicken thighs today, but you can use whatever, whatever um, chicken you want to. And I'm going to put them right here. Just going to bunch them up a bit because yesterday if I put them on the top rack, they were like petrified. No lie. And we got a little piece here. This is about a pound of chicken thighs. You can add more chicken if you want, but I'm just using like what I have. Giving that a rinse. Now for seasoning, I changed it up. And I thought it came out pretty good. All right, we got garlic. We got, let's see. Hmm, what do I do with it? Well, that's cinnamon. Italian, okay, here we go. So what I'm gonna do here, you guys see that? Taking some black pepper, putting it right on there. I'm gonna take a bit of salt, not too much salt. Just a little bit, because you don't want the dish over salty. We're taking granulated garlic. And this is just on the fly, everybody. And last but not least, we're taking some Italian seasoning. Just put it all over. It's all good, because this is all going to go together. Going to take a little bit of that avocado oil. Spray. Boom. And you are looking at almost a fantastic dinner soon. And that's the amount of time it took. Make sure the pasta is under the water. You're going to take this, place it right in here. Now we're going over to the foodie. Whoa. Place it right in there. Close the lid. Turn it on. Pull it to the center. We're going to go down to 375. Whoops. And we're gonna do 15 minutes. All right, hit start. Now the total time for this, because I did time it the one time, it takes about 11 minutes for it to come with the pressure. Well, not pressure, steam. So it's kind of like 11 plus 15, so it's like 26. I'd say like 30 minutes this total time takes. So yeah, I'll see you about, see you in 30 minutes. Oh, I can't wait. So. Just some changes. I actually picked up this Prego basil pesto. This is much better than the first video I made, and I can't remember which pesto it was, but this one is much, much better. Also, we're adding sun-dried tomatoes to it, so it's gonna be super tasty. It's just, and I don't like to leave these whole. I like to chop them up. Like, I know they're in small pieces now, but I like to chop them up. So we're using like a quarter cup of sun-dried tomatoes, maybe a bit more but we're just adding that extra layer of flavor with this pasta dish. And it's super good. I think it's super good. There we go. And that's it. So we're just gonna wait for the dish to get done. All right, so I was on my phone and it stopped. So it is done. Just turn the light on over here. I'm gonna gather up a few ingredients that we need. Well need and want. Yeah, let's check this out. I'm curious to see how this is going to turn out because I did change it up since yesterday. So you're going to open it up. Be careful when you open this because of the steam. Oh, hello. Let me just tempt that chicken because I did change it up since yesterday. But I think this is going to be the best. Oh, yeah. Done. And it's not crispy because what happened yesterday, it turned out to be super crispy chicken on the top. So that's what stinks about using that top rack. And I think this is gonna turn out great. Just pick this up for a second. Oh yeah. So take that chicken and I'm gonna put it over here on a cutting board and I'm gonna cut it up into chunks. All right, so we're gonna pick this up. Please be careful. All right. And what we're doing now, Last time we didn't do it. Yesterday I did it. We're doing it today. I'm gonna pour all that goodness right in there. Just be careful doing this. 
make sure that goodness and trash is right here so aluminum foil goes in and bring this over to the sink maybe okay give it a stir yes oh my god this is awesome just the way it is Now, we're going to take the pesto. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but the Prego, it calls for a six ounce, and half a six ounces is three ounces. This is an eight ounce jar, so this is actually gonna be more than, this is probably gonna be like four ounces of pesto that's going into this dish. So, just keep notice, just when you pick up the pesto jars, just look at them. So, I decided I'm not going to just say take three ounces. I'm just going to use this jar up because it'll sit in the fridge and I'll forget about it and it'll go to waste. So why not just put it right in there? These sun-dried tomatoes, add those. And we're taking some baby spinach. I was going to give this a chop, but I don't feel like it now. We're adding a huge handful of baby spinach. Now the residual heat should cook this spinach up. So let's give this a stir. If it doesn't, you can always turn it on sear saute to cook the spinach. Oh yeah, this is, uh. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. So it's probably like two to three cups of spinach, like a, that giant handful. So what I'm gonna do is just leave this alone for right now. I'm gonna let that spinach cook and we're gonna go over and chop up the chicken. So like I said, you can either use chicken thighs, chicken breast, do a mixture, do whatever you want. What I'm gonna do is just take my knife, and do the best I can to make it in chunks, not super sized chunks, but decent size chunks. And this is just a pound. You could actually add up to two pounds. Actually, you can add any amount, but I think one and one half, I think a bit more chicken might be better. Not better, but uh, more protein, maybe. We'll see how this comes out. Because I only, ouch, put in, I don't know how much I put in yesterday. There we go. Just make sure we're small enough. There. And we're going to go ahead and put this right into the pasta. And we're just going to give that a stir. Maybe the pound is going to be good. Oh my god. And to be honest with you guys, this is better than the initial recipe. I think just adding that extra ounce of pesto, I think an eight ounce jar works better if you're going to do a pound. And the spinach, I think that's an adequate amount, I hope. But oh my God, this is so good. So this is actually gonna be lunches this week if I don't share it with other people. So maybe more chicken, I'm thinking, you probably could do, but look at this. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Oh yes, yes, yes. So we're gonna plate this up and we're gonna do that taste test. All right, everybody, look at this. This looks so much better and it tastes so much better than the first recipe. Yes, and if I remember, I will put the recipe in. I hope to do it. But yeah, um, let's taste test it. Let's see if we can get a tomato in there too. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's why I wanted to chop up the spinach. So good. The chicken. Mm. It soaks up the pesto flavor. It is just, this is really, really good. And tomorrow while I'm at work eating this, it's gonna be even better. So yeah, um, thanks everybody for watching and definitely make this, comment down below on how you liked it. You can actually add Parmesan cheese to the top, but I think there's enough cheese in the pesto for my liking. If you want to garnish with Parmesan, by all means, go ahead. Um, 
yeah, it's just, I'm having this right now. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks. Bye.